Attention mummies, this video is going to revolutionize your life. Oh yes, we're saving you 30% on your food shopping bill right here. We're saving you hours in the kitchen right here. And we're stopping you from all of those sugar cravings all in one video. Hello, my name is Lisa Barwise. I am the creator of Mummy Shape School and you are here at Mummy Shape School TV where kids are the reason, not the excuse and where time, tiredness and temptation are easily overcome with quick and easy solutions for busy mummies. So, if you want to get your body back and your tummy flat, this is the place to be. And today is all about the lifestyle hack. I like to call it the lifestyle hack because it's all about little known tips and tricks and little secrets to helping you to get healthy, helping you to stop craving the sugar and to get the body and lifestyle that you want. Are you sick of throwing out your organic vegetables? Are you sick of buying something on a Monday uh, in a panic to get healthy, to lose weight, to feel good about yourself, only to see everything rot by about Thursday in the back of the fridge, go a bit moldy? Are you sick of that? What about spending all this money on organic produce and seeing it just go into the bin? And are you sick of being at the control of your cravings, being a slave to temptation and to all those sugary treats around you? Well, we're going to bust three myths right here, right now with this lifestyle hack. And it's all about the green smoothie. Now, you've heard me talk about the fat burning breakfast and you've heard me talking about how important it is that you do breakfast right but there's a lot of reasons why we don't like to do breakfast. First of all we don't have the time, we're busy mummies, we're doing a school run, we're off to work, all those sorts of things so we need something that's really really quick. We also don't like maybe green smoothies because we don't like how they taste in terms of a lot of bitterness with the green vegetables so we're going to cover that too. And another reason we don't is because we're sick of buying all these green vegetables not to get used and they sit in the back of the fridge and, and they roll away. So I'm going to help you to overcome all three of those excuses right now with this clever trick. Now how many of you have half open bags of spinach like this, okay? Or maybe you've got this wonderful organic curly kale in your, in your, in your fridge. Well what I invite you to do is to literally only order five fruits and vegetables every week, okay? So that's a spinach or a kale or both. You maybe want to add in some cucumber or some celery in there, and then also one berry, some apples and bananas. That is it. That will cover you uh, nutritionally for what we're trying to do, and I can tell you a little bit more about how you can get that nutritional boost as well. So if you're only spending that amount of money on these items, do you think if you were having those every day that you'd feel different? You betcha. So, the next step is to get uh, yourself some little baggies. So these are resealable, freezable baggies you can get from any other supermarket. You can see I've got these ones from Tesco. Um, and they're a really great way for you to make up your smoothies, okay? So what you're going to do is rather than keep these in the fridge until they rot, you're going to freeze individual smoothie bags for you to have your green smoothie every morning because then it is super quick and it's super cost effective and it makes sure that you're getting your green smoothie first thing in the morning. So what you should need to do is get a bag and say for example you want to kind of counteract the greens with some fruit as well just to make it easier for you to have. It's very simple that you say for example spinach here. I add uh, bananas. Now, how many, how many times do you ever have one of these type of bananas in your fridge, okay? The best thing to do with bananas is freeze them. They're so easily done. So rather than keep half a banana in your fridge, stick that little thing in one of these little baggies and freeze those too. So what I would normally do is I get, a, a, get my spinach in a little bag, maybe get some bananas, little cut up smaller banana bits, I get an apple and then I either choose an already frozen berry like these blueberries here which are only a couple of pounds or you can go for like a frozen pineapple as well. So you want something a little bit sweet on the berry on the fruit front but mostly we're jamming packed with the greens. Get your little baggie, 
And you're putting in a handful of the greens, a little bit more than that, handful of the greens like that. Then you're getting your, you know, your pineapple here and you're putting in a couple of those into the baggie. So literally I would only put maybe two or three little bits of pineapple in there. You might want to add some blueberries, you might want to add a little bit of your banana. But basically you're adding in all of these uh, little bits of fruits and vegetables into individual bags. So what you end up with is little frozen, little bits of green bags with some extra little bits of, uh, you can actually can't even see them in there, extra little bits of fruit in the bag, okay? So they're already pre-frozen, and then you just get to stick those into the green smoothie. One other extra hack that you can do is with coconut water. I don't know about you, but I'm not a big fan of drinking coconut water on its own. I don't mind it in a smoothie. I think it's really, obviously it's so good for us in terms of electrolytes and potassium, and all those wonderful things that we need in it. Uh, this particular one um, is only 330 mil, but what you can do is get an ice cube tray and literally just pour this into the ice cubes so that basically you've literally got extra ice cubes that you can add into when you're making up your green smoothie. So basically get as many of these bags, I would do on average seven to 10 bags in a go. So once I've had my uh, shopping delivered, I put out all of the little stations and I have a green station and I have a berry station and I have an apple station and I have a banana station and I just kind of put everything into the little green baggies and then they can just be frozen and stuck in the freezer, okay? Super easy. So when it comes to actually making the smoothie, which is what we're gonna do now, it's really easy, it takes you even less time than you think and you're saving yourself money. So part two of this video is actually making up a green smoothie and to show you how quick and easy it can be to get greens first thing in the morning, uh, as well as the protein that you need to turn you into a fat burning mama. Very important indeed to make sure you get the right balance first thing in the morning. So I'm going to show you my new little uh, blender here, which is really cost effective. This little blender of which you can win a free one at Mummy Shape School at the moment only costs 30 pounds uh, in the UK. Really easy to get, and what I love about it, other than it being green, of course, is that it really easily fits into um, cup holders and bike holders if you're taking things with you, because us busy mummies want to take them on the go, right? So, the ingredients that you want to put in here are the little green baggie that you've already made up. So you're literally just sticking in all of these frozen Fruits, vegetables, you'll see I've got a little bit of cucumber in there, an apple, I've got my spinach which is starting to defrost a little bit, it's been sitting there, there we go, perfect, which also is going to keep it and act like a little bit of an ice cube as well. Uh, I'm also going to add to this two dessert spoons of this flaxseed, now this flaxseed also comes with nuts, almonds, Brazil nuts. There we go, maybe a wee bit more for that. Uh, I'm also going to add a full scoop of my Juice Plus Complete Vanilla. This is going to give us even more greens. It's going to give us powders from fruit, complex carbohydrates, and plant-based protein. So we get that in there. I also like to add maybe a good tablespoon of, or dessert spoon of, Cashew butter, there we go in there. Mm. Okay, cashew butter plus almond milk. Okay, so you just add the almond milk in. And the secret ingredient for most of these green smoothies is extra little spices. Nutmeg will change your life. Adding some nutmeg into your smoothies, maybe also adding in a bit of cinnamon in there. Really, it just brings out the flavor of the vegetables specifically. Okay, this is really easy. You put your little lid on. And we're just gonna zizzer up, here we go. So that was it zizzed up. 
You might want to do it for a little bit longer with this one, just to make sure that it's it's really uh, got through the frozen uh, fruits and vegetables like that cucumber. But basically, you stick a lid on it, and that's you to go. Okay. So that has got everything that you need in terms of all the macronutrients. It's got healthy fat. It's got protein. It's got fruits and vegetables. It's got green leafy vegetables. It's amazing for you. Mmm. And it tastes really, really good. So, that is busted out the water that you don't have time to make breakfast. It's busted out of the water that you don't have enough money to, have, to eat healthy. Because I'm asking you here just to invest in four or five vegetables, uh, not even two or three vegetables, a couple of fruit which you can freeze, and that will last, that, if I bag that up, it's gonna last me two solid weeks. It means that I get my fruit and veg first thing in the morning, my lovely green smoothie, and this tastes really good. It's really, really good, and it's really, really good for you. The other thing that you'll notice after drinking smoothies for a full week, the other thing that you'll notice is that your cravings will completely diminish means no cravings whatsoever, you will actually find that you'll find things like carrots and peppers actually sweet after having green smoothies for a whole week. And the reason why is that basically with all of these green vegetables, you're alkalining your system and you're setting it up for to basically change your palate and be able to change and cleanse the palate. You're kind of reprogramming your taste buds really so that you can actually enjoy more alkaline foods which are better for you. So the final tip I want to give you is, if you still struggle to ensure that you get enough greens into your diet, if you're worried about having too much fruit in terms of the high sugar content, the solution is very simple. If you aren't able to obviously organically grow your own fruit and veg, if you aren't able to drink green smoothies every single day, then you need to look for an alternative. It will really help you to look good, feel good, have less cravings, and get that flat stomach as well, then look to Juice Plus, whole food supplements, fruits, vegetables, and berries in capsule form. But I tell you mummies, when it's this easy, and you add yourself something nice like that, just to give it a little bit of extra palatability, as I'm gonna say, I promise you it will become super easy, and you'll be able to find the benefits of having more green leafy veg in your diet. Now, if you enjoyed this video, if you thought that this was revolutionary in terms of saving you loads of money on your shopping and letting you overcome all those sugary habits, then share it with your mummy friends. Who do you know that constantly complains about having to um, throw food out, not being able to eat healthy? Then share this video with them. Comment below, let me know how you get on, and I look forward to seeing you again on Mummy Shape School TV.